Hi everyone, uh, I want to do a video about headaches and uh, unfortunately I have not been able to find any information online and uh, I kind of hate to be the person to talk about this but um, you know in general get lots of rest. Um, I don't totally know what I'm talking about and in general I have headaches on the right side of my head and I noticed that also my brother the other day, I stepped over at his work, and he was like, hey, I got a big headache. And um, I've been having these headaches for so many years that I've kind of learned a very important lesson. And that is, when something's wrong, when you have a headache, um, your life is going to be a lot better if you start to uh, just rest a little bit. And basically what I found for my case is that I have to just stop what I'm doing, everything, and sometimes just lay down for like 30 minutes. Um, sometimes that's take a walk. Um, uh, but uh, in general, I just have to rest and not do anything and even thinking about this. So I'm in a little bit of pain right now and I haven't totally figured this out yet. Um, but I have figured out uh, quite a bit of things that I think is uh, in general helpful for other people that are suffering from lots of headaches. So um as you can see i'm in pain right now <laughs> trying to sort this out so i'm going to switch back um to uh, this and tr start talking about this a little bit so um there is a very few uh videos on how either i couldn't even find an mri on uh, blood flow in the brain so basically my headaches are due to computer usage um, I'm basically 100% certain about this, and man, I really hope that, uh, you know, if, if a lot of people are watching this video someday, man, computers cause a lot of problems, and just try to uh, do other things. I am collecting books in my apartment um, just to uh, survive, uh, because it's great, the internet is great, but at the end, I like to have an encyclopedia, and just a lot of travel books and different kinds of uh, world atlases. So sometimes if I get a headache, I'll just lay in my bed and read the world atlas or something. So uh, the number one thing, so I basically have a couple different points here. So the number one thing is, is that I'm not an expert on headaches, but I've thought about it for years and years. So I have a lot of good advice. Um, the number one thing I would say is get some rest and focus on, don't focus. Basically, try to not give any pressure in your brain. If you have a particular area in your brain, like I do, that hurts, um, just try to loosen that part. It's not. It's, it's, I don't even have the right word for it. But basically, do not decrease the pressure. Right. So, in in essence, um, what I had to do here is study on my own about how the brain works. Um, so. Um, in general, you know, I have to take a shower sometimes, sometimes I just get more rest, sometimes I just get even more rest. You know, I just, it's been almost impossible to deal with this. So, um, what I would say is rest is the number one thing, um, because your blood flow, uh, is probably just screwed up in your brain. So what I had to do, um, I'm going to, uh, uh, show you this here. So, uh, we're going to transition to this. So I went on the internet. And I basically found out how does the brain, how does blood leave your brain? And on this page here, it says the internal jugular veins are considered to be the main pathways of cerebral blood drainage. Um, so that meant almost nothing to me at first um, because I was like, well, okay, yes, so where is this? And this is an NIH PubMed uh, page, so it's probably pretty good. They didn't have very many pictures of this. And I went to, uh, Wikipedia here, and I grabbed the um, web page for cerebral circulation um, and internal jugular vein to try to see where this is, what it is, and most importantly, how do I just get rid of my stupid headache? Um, so basically, my idea for the headaches at this point, um, which isn't fully tested yet, is basically minimizing. So, so the goal is to minimize pressure and just to relax as much as possible. Lay down. Um, I've noticed that sometimes standing up, I get even more headaches. I get extreme pressure in my head. Um, so then I definitely have to lay down. And if I'm laying down in certain positions, I start to get a lot of pressure. And so I just have to figure out what the position is. 
Um, but essentially it's because I think I understand how my brain works and I actually don't. And the pressure just keeps increasing and in different problems. So um, what I would recommend is, uh, first of all, um, thinking about this. So from what I read here, um, so there's a bunch of pictures. It might help you to just look at these pictures and try to understand all of them. Um, but in general, um, my feeling, so there's another one here that says the external digital blade. So if you say, how does the blood enter the vein, enter the heart, um, it basically goes through uh, these uh, uh, heart pumps running through these two sets of arteries, catheter arteries. So uh, it didn't really help me, but and then when I finally went into this video, um, and I'm just going to play a little bit while we talk, and I'll turn down the volume, and you can kind of see what's going on here. So. Um, in general, uh, the way I started to think about this, again, is just rest as much as you can because I don't know. There's a lot of weird things that happen in your brain. And what I've noticed is that I have to do some – it's just terrible, right? So I have pressure primarily on the right side of my head. Um, and actually, um, with this diagram, you can kind of start to see – um, where these blood vessels are and basically um, so my my general notion of how this works is that um, if you uh, you basically if you drink a little bit of water and you can feel that go down your throat that is how the blood essentially leaves your brain is the same as if you are drinking something so you inhale and you exhale and essentially you want to focus on decreasing the pressure but it's hard because if you focus on it sometimes you can mess things up so i wouldn't say drink a whole lot of water i haven't been focusing on that too much mostly what i'm doing is just been resting so uh, in general there is basically no help on the internet um, for how this works now this other diagram you can see this on the internal side so most of the people that explain how the brain works, explain this little thing in the inside of the brain. And this still doesn't explain to me how the blood leaves the brain. So it seems like there's a lot of experts in all the design of it, but they don't explain the basic fact of how does the blood leave the brain, um, which I think would help if you can pull it out of the brain. So I think in general, you have to pretend as if you're kind of like bleeding or something and pull it out of your brain or something. But again, what I would do is just rest, and that's what I'm going to do in just a moment. I'm going to get some sleep early tonight, and hopefully my day will get better. And in general, I would say this minimum of, you know, at least for me, it takes me 30 minutes just to rest and thinking about absolutely nothing um, and kind of moving, wiggling my head around um, like you probably see that I am now. But um, this video was pretty good. Um, and you can see up here it says cerebral circulation, neural anatomy, video lab, brain dissections. Um, and it was pretty much the only video that had um, useful information um, on it uh, that I could find. So um, there are some others. You can see this guy's trying to explain a diagram here. I thought that diagram was all right. And then just if you want to search for cerebral circulation. Um, and then there's even an operation that I saw, and that was kind of interesting just to see um, what happened with um, some excess pressure, but uh, don't get too scared. Just relax. Um, I've been worrying about this for years and years, so um, I don't know if your case could be possibly as worse as mine. Um, mine was terrible, so and it still is bad, but it is getting slightly better, and so that's why I wanted to post a video, just because something's getting slightly better, but maybe it's also getting slightly worse in some ways. So, um, but in general, try to find some friends and others to help. Um, but what I would say is rest is pretty much the best bet. Um, and uh, let me know what ideas you have because I am for sure interested um, in what you have to say um, about uh, this. So, um, but in general, uh, this is how the blood uh, leaves the brain. And just take a look at cerebral circulation uh, for some details. Hope this has helped. And uh, please do try to get some rest.